Hey guys, um, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is Sims Overload and my name is Leah. Uh, I'm a new YouTuber and um, I just wanted to show you a quick video um, on the Multi Sims 3 Pack Extractor by Delphi. If you have this uh, little tool, um, you and if you're new, um, you might be wondering because I know uh, when I got it, um, when I first got it, uh, I watched some tutorials on how to download it and use it. But I was wondering how, like I already had um, some CC in my launcher and I wanted to know how to uh, convert that uh, into the .package files. Um, and so I was uh, looking around the internet for information on it and I couldn't find anything. I just, I must have missed it. If there is any tutorials out there that tell you how to do this or what. I noticed a lot of, a lot of people asking about it too. So, um, so it's super easy and super simple. I just figured it out myself. So uh, that's why I'm making this video for those of you who already have the tool and is, you know, new to it and just wondering if, if you can do that. Um, yes, you can. <laughs> uh, so I downloaded some uh, Sims 3 pack uh, CC from um, uh, TSR because a lot of their uh, CC has the, uh, they use the Sims, the Sims 3 pack. Um, depending on where you're downloading your custom content. So some places um, give you both options and some places one or the other dot package. So preferably um, we want dot package. And the reason for that is because um, the Sims 3 pack in our launcher, um, it can really slow our game down and uh, make the launcher, you know, load up a lot slower and it just slows you know everything down um so the dot package files are um a lot more you know reliable um especially for installing and uninstalling them it's just a lot easier a lot quicker uh yeah so for the sake of this video i downloaded um some ts uh sims 3 pack uh files and uh, typically they would go into your electronics art folder um, in your Sims 3 documents um, and in your downloads folder. And so what you do like with this thing, if you already have it, so this video, like I'm not showing you how to download, but I will leave a link underneath on where you can download it. Um, if you, this is for, you know, people that have just downloaded already have it and are just wondering um if you haven't figured it out yet how to how to do this so um it's just a, a it's not a program that you actually install either it just runs on your computer so first you want to select the folder where your downloads go so like i said your sims 3 pack um uh, files usually go into your downloads folder um, so you can change this uh, to wherever you want because after you've converted these files you don't need them anymore obviously so um, if you want to back some of them up you know just make a file and and put them in there or do that um, I put mine uh, in my backup files um, I like to keep them uh, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't have to. I don't think I can just delete them. Actually, it would make a lot more sense. Um, but for the sake of this video, we're going to go to where um, they typically get downloaded when you download them. So we're just going to go into, if I can find it, um, into the electronic arts. Sims 3 and doo -doo 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 -doo. oh no wait this is where I already have them downloaded um 
I want to, yeah, that's right. So I want to change this right now to, okay, I got like, confu I confused myself there for a second. <laughs> I do that a lot. Okay, so I believe this is the folder we want because this is where they are. So this is, you know, the folder where you have all your Sims 3 packs. This is the ones that you want to uh, convert into the .package files. And so then your destination folder, I uh, put mine right into my uh, mods folder and in my electronics arts uh, Sims 3 mods folder and into my package. I actually, I just, I made a separate file for my CC um, because a lot of uh, my other uh, package files are stuff that uh, don't come as Sims 3 packs whatever they're already they're mods so I keep them separate in that same folder in the package folder if that makes sense so like uh, let's go back in my mods folder packages <clears throat> this is the uh, I don't know if you can oh, so the icons might be better to see so yeah, I just make a separate folder here, and then these are all my separate mods, so I keep it all separated. So, um, for this, uh, that's where you want your um, dot .package files to go, obviously, is in your, your mods uh, packages folder. Um, and if you want to keep a copy of them, like I said, uh, you can... Um, Put them on your desktop first and then drag them in or make a folder somewhere else you want them and you know drag them in to your mods folder and that's it and uh it's super like um these ones that i've just downloaded they're i haven't installed them into my game yet where am i download <laughs> Yeah, I just uh, download them in here. I haven't downloaded them into my game yet, these ones. Um, but even if you have downloaded, have them downloaded into your game, it works still the same. It doesn't affect um, your custom content that's already installed in your game. And so that's what I was worried about at first. When I uh, first got this, I, I was a little confused about that because I just wanted to get my the ones that the stuff that I already had in there I wanted to convert them into the dot package so yeah so here we here we are we got the the downloads folder where these are uh, where we want them extracted to um, make sure you're well you don't have to but it's a good idea um, and this is just for uh, single CC packages um, and like I said for your hair for hair clothes objects shoes stuff like that um, you want to make sure this is ticked so it renames your files. Otherwise, uh, all your stuff will be extracted in a long string of letters and numbers name. And you won't know what is what. <laughs> and that's, I, I did that at first, actually. I was like, oh, man. I should have had that ticked. Because um, then I was trying to, like, organize what I had installed and what I wanted to install. Uh, on my computer and I was so anyways whatever it was stupid I had to go and do it all again and rename them so I knew exactly what I had converted <laughs> so I wasn't like adding you know duplicates in anyways yeah so uh, just uh, hit extract and done so quick one second eight files done and then um, close that off and then, like, you don't need to keep all these files here. You can delete them. So, keeping your files clean, your Sims 3 docs, you don't need stuff you don't need, just get rid of it. Um, because it's already in your game and um, in your launcher, maybe I should show you here too. Um, I don't know what these files are for, but I, I don't, I don't uh, delete them. I just keep them there. 
Um, anyways. Oh, all my icons are gone. I just gotta show my icons here so I can get this. Um. I'm just going to open up the launcher uh, and show you because um, some people, they're scared to delete your downloads from your launcher. But you don't have to be because that's essentially your... Well, now that I've already deleted it in my uh, <clears throat> computer file, they won't show up here. I didn't even install them actually, so... Yeah, so this is your downloads in your launcher. Yeah, anything, all your Sims 3 packs will be downloaded in here. <clears throat> and um, once you've converted them, um, it's, you know, totally safe to just delete them. And actually, um, even once they're installed, to be honest, um, let's see. These are all the ones that... I originally put in before I found this um, this uh, tool from Delphi. Yeah, these are so it shows that this is all the stuff that you've installed. Um, so even if you don't have Delphi's tool, you it's it's safe to delete the your downloads out of your uh, launcher once once they're installed, for sure. Yeah, anyway, so um, I hope that helps or clears up uh, that question for people that are new, <laughs> um, like me. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna go into the game and just uh, bring one of my sims into cast and show you that all my, uh, the ones, like all my package files that I just uh, converted. Actually, hold on a sec. I first want to just, I always do this, I double check um, to see if that they were, you know, put in there in the package folder, which obviously they were, but uh, yeah, well, they should be in there. I see a, a few of them. I have so many. Um, yeah, the Suicide Squad shirts. I just... Yeah, so they're all there. All converted into the... Well, actually what it does, the tool, it doesn't con it doesn't really convert it, it. It does extract it. So it extracts the dot .package file out of the Sims 3 pack file. And that's about all I know about that. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm going to... Um, pick up in the in cast in the game just to uh, see if they all made it into uh, my game all right okay so this is um, one of my sims uh, his name's Kiana and um, yeah uh, he already has some CC that I've downloaded uh, some clothes on um, this is my new cast background um, I like it. <laughs> Stars makes it not so plain Jane, if you know what I mean. Okay, so I just wanted to see here, if I get myself out of the way, um, that the packages that I just, uh, converted made it into my cast. So that's another reason, um, why dot packages, uh, are more reliable for CC because um, my experience, <clears throat> um, the Sims 3 pack CCs, um, haven't always made it into my game, even though I've installed them through the launcher. And, um, you know, you go through all that time and effort finding the right clothes and getting them downloaded, and it takes forever to install them in the launcher too. Uh, just to get into your game and see that they're not there, it really sucks. But... All of the ones that I just installed should be here. And I'm sure that there's an easier way to do this. Um, but I am kind of new to CC content, so. And I'm kind of like crazy with it. 
uh, once I start finding things I can't stop and so I will stop though if I ever run into some issues with it because I mean I've heard that if you have too much CC content you know it can really mess but I mean you can also try the CC magic by I believe that's by Delphi 2 yeah so that's if you have like tons of stuff and I'm sure I will get there one day <laughs> you can merge all your CC content together and uh, make it so your game isn't Oh, yeah, see, there's the one, uh, the Minecraft shirt I downloaded. Let me just see what it looks like. Huh? Oh, look at that. So cute. <laughs> I'm going to leave that on him. Um, didn't I get some? Oh, yeah, I got these cool shirts, too. Oh, yeah, Suicide Squad. Nice. I might leave one of these on him instead. Maybe that one. Nice. I get sweaters. I mean, I did. <clears throat> it's so hard to find male clothes. I mean, it isn't as, and it isn't, I guess. So. Um, TSR does have a ton of clothes. That's mostly where I like to go, but there are places that you can go um, that offer the dot package files instead of the sims 3 pack so you don't even have to convert anything or con yeah, the proper word is extract actually extracting not converting <laughs> uh are those new oh no that just i don't know where those came from okay let me i just want to check out the pants sorry and the shoes. Oh, I got some cool shoes. I gotta check those out. Mm -mm. Go through this very long list of all the expansions and clothing. Oh, here we go. I found it very hard to, um, well, not hard, but there's not as many male um, pants out there. As there are for for women for females yeah, these jeans are cute actually I like those so very nice and jogging pants mm, nice just like chill pants chilling playing some video games here <clears throat> are these ones did I check these ones yet oh I forgot I got these ones actually oh these are nice those are really nice cool Okay, I'm just going to keep him in, um, let's see which ones. Hmm. Maybe those ones for now. Yeah, um, oh yeah, shoes. I just want to check out the shoes real quick and then I'm done. The video's done. <laughs> just make sure, oh, they did, they made it in. Yay. Exciting. I like these shoes. Okay, Kiana, you're looking sharp. <laughs> yeah, so that's it for this video and uh, hope I helped you out. And please make sure, what is happening here? Oh no, I'm in my game. <laughs> I'm just gonna pause this. This game I stream a lot on Twitch. Anyways, I'm actually doing a build, um, a build in Twitch right now with this family. So I hope I have a chance to do that today because I haven't been, I haven't done a stream for a while. Oh, I haven't had time. Um, anyways, so if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Have a good day. <laughs>